This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. This should have been my father's moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Captain Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. It means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one. After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing it. Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? Yeah, we just got in. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we called them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at her. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec... is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but 
Even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people. And we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A golden world. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I'm ready to step up and do what needs to be done. I can handle it. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. I can't believe how far off track things have gone. It's bad, but it's not over. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong. And now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 40 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack. They disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry. Fourteen months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. 
I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus of Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. <laughs>